Hello, welcome to Spooning with Nature. I'm Gary. Well, we're out in a kayak finally. Uh, they called for 55 today. Uh, my wife Ronnie was good enough to drop me off. It's uh, going to get to up to 43, which is close to 55, but not really. So, uh, just floating along the river here, the Wabash River, uh, threw in a little town called Lynn Grove, and I'm just going to float to my house uh, on the Wabash. First trip I took down the Wabash was pretty eventful. Uh, I was in a kayak that I made. It was a long running joke. And uh, it would have had a good chance if the water had been deeper than four inches. Uh, like I said, the rocks were pretty tough. This river mostly runs along a uh, limestone bed. So there's a lot of unforgiveness. Uh, you get a lot of sections like where I'm in now that's, that's dirt and clay. But uh, as you get closer to, to where I live, it becomes limestone. It's like a cheese grater. It's awesome. This is the closest thing to wrap is on the Wabash River. Uh, a lot of debris underneath. A lot of debris. I just thought of a joke. I gotta tell you this one. So, man and woman are sitting on the front porch swing, you know, looking at the stars and all quiet. He finally turns to her and he says, you know, since I've been dating you, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't do anything. And uh, she started to get a little tear, looked him in the, into the eye and said, do you love me that much? He goes, no, I'm broke. <laughs> uh, you can tell it to anybody. <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> That's pretty quiet right, right now. Uh, the geese, wood ducks, mallards, no eagles, uh, red-tailed hawk, I did see one of those. Usually, when the river's not so high, there'll be a beavers. Uh, early in the morning is the best time. I see beaver, uh, river otter, I've seen those. But where I've, I see where I pushed out, I've seen river otter. Uh, Indiana is slowly building back the, the wildlife that they had. Um, but I've heard stories, my grandpa told me stories about when he was a kid. And I, I would just like to see half of what we used to have. That would be nice. But we got to enjoy what we do have. And, really enjoying this river today. Nice sunny day. When it's out of the wind, it's nice. Really nice. There's a lot of people just drive by this scenery. They don't even know it's here. They'll feel sorry for them. A lot of beauty out here if you look for it. It's, uh, sycamore trees. I never get tired of seeing them. So big and majestic. And they're off. They always take off like it's a big emergency. There's a lot of things to watch out for as we're going down the river. Um, the ash. There was a lot of ash along the river. And when we had the green ash border come through, it wiped them out. So, uh, as a result, there's a lot of ash overhead. we got to watch. Um, the, main, the main problem is the ash is falling into the water. Uh, this water, if I can show it to you. This water is muddy, really muddy. You can't see anything. Uh, the only thing you can do is read the currents as you're going through. Uh, they got some things in here that I like to call uh, eddy currents, you know, or rolling currents. It's like where there's rocks or debris underneath. Uh, the current goes over the top of it and then rolls around. And if you're not paying attention, you're, you're just coasting along. Those will get you and that'll turn your boat around. If you react too quickly, quickly, that I've talked about. That would be an example of one. Yeah, watch the current here. This is how I know I'm getting close to the little town called Veracruz. Which is just off to my right. I got this nice new modern bridge. Uh, I wish I could tell you the highway. And then just on the other side of it, this is this old uh, metal suspension bridge. I keep saying I'm going to find out the, the reason for this, but there's no road going to it, there's no road coming from it. It's just a, a bridge over a river. There's a lot of dangers, as I said. 
in the right in the river, especially flooded. Um, you get these dead trees laying over in the water, and as the current hits them, they, they go up and down. You won't see them, and uh, they actually had it happen. You get under, you go over one, and it comes up and hits the bottom. If you're not, if you're unless you're lucky, it'll mess with you. About to make new friends here. Usually they take off by now. Oh, get some wood ducks. Uh, late bloomers, there they go. Let's make some noise. I don't know about the rest of you. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, natural instinct. I used to hunt them a long time ago. Probably about a little 12, 15 years ago. I really enjoyed that. Just sitting there and quiet and hearing them coming in. You know, not being able to see them until he's right there. But uh, natural instinct, I hear that quite a bit. Been jumping some uh, wood ducks for about a mile now. But I think they finally left me. It's so onward and upward. More nature, more to see. So we had a pretty uneventful trip of about an hour and a half. This nice little trip. The sun come out, it was warm. Uh, seen mallards, wood ducks, Canadian geese. Nothing crazy. The raccoon was out walking around in the middle of the day. That was odd. Didn't see uh, any eagles, the beavers. The water is still pretty high, and it's still pretty pretty early in the year, so that'll be coming. Uh, thank you for watching Spinning with Nature. I'm Gary. We'll see you next time.